Thank you. Well, first of all, uh, there are a number of takeaways, but the principal one is the adoption of performance management system by Delta State Government. Uh, it is a major reform in governance in this state. If it is well implemented and transparently monitored, it is setting a new standard in governance and public service in Delta State. That is one. Two, the idea of performance management system being put in place simply means that going forward, all political appointees, and this time I mean um, commissioners, uh, permanent secretaries, special advisors, DGs, executive secretaries, will now be subjected to performance contract. Meaning that you come in, you tell the government what you intend to achieve for them if all the enablers are put in place. If we put all the enablers in place and we agree on deliverables, we'll expect you to deliver results. If you don't deliver results, there will be consequences for failure. That is the most important takeaway from this retreat. Well, I, 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 this is an opportunity to harmonize ideas, resources, and objectives. So you bring everything together and then have what you may call milestones that you say these are our targets per quarter, per quarter. So it's a very critical um, uh, retreat. So to that extent, it couldn't be uh, more exciting for people like me. And uh, it, it will give kudos to the governor for putting this uh, retreat together because it's giving everybody a sense of purpose. So you live here knowing that you have an agenda. Not just the government agenda, but you have a personal agenda as well. You have to make contribution towards the realization of the bigger agenda. So it cascades down. Everybody now has personal agenda, personal deliverable. So you know, as a commissioner, you must deliver on A, B, or C. And you know that if you deliver on A, B, A, or C, and everybody does the same, automatically we will achieve the stronger delta uh, agenda of the government. Well, first of all, um, the idea is really to leverage, uh, leverage on knowledge. The knowledge is that you can actually put together a facility like this without necessarily spending money. What you spend is your brain. Um, you do PPP, which means private-public partnership, but this time it's private-private partnership in the sense that you... Deliver your vision to those who understand that type of vision and people will back it. For example, the, one of the best universities in the world is Harvard. Harvard is run by foundation. It's run, it was run by donation. The school, uh, the fees you pay to attend courses in Harvard are actually a small part of the cost of running Harvard. The, the bulk of the cost is by foundation. So this has been modeled after such institutions where donors actually uh, provide the necessary support. Every single structure that you find in this uh, environment is being paid for by somebody else. And that is why every building has uh, a nameplate on it to identify the sponsor of that uh, structure. Um, but in terms of 
running, keeping this place going, it's like a vision. It's an agenda. You have a purpose. So it is uh, a place that is used to run courses. And you use the proceed not to share. It is a, it's not uh, a profit-making institution. It's a not-for-profit making organization. And that means that every penny that comes into the uh, institute is used to run the place. And that is how we, we keep it going. Secondly, it's a very lean organization in terms of uh, personnel. Uh, all the resource persons, all are uh, resource persons from outside. We don't have any employee that is um, resource consuming. So we can't afford to hire a staff and keep a staff. Even the registrar is on part time. Everybody comes here to deliver the service that they are engaged to deliver. And that is how we keep this place going. And for how long have you had this place? Ten years. Ten. Yes. And um, going forward, what do you intend to do to really make it much more better? And how busy has this place been since inception? Well, it's busy to the extent that we want it to be. We are not looking for it to become a day-to-day -day institution at this point in time. But overall, the intent is to make it a higher institution. Uh, maybe starting with a business school uh, system. We are also looking at the possibility of collaborating with some universities that may well run management courses like MBA uh, on this, our premises. We will run it here, but they will do the certification. That is the kind of collaboration we're looking for. So we're looking at top-notch collaboration, not just any type of collaboration. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.